You don't have to spend hundreds to get a wireless mic that offers good sound for your videos. And I have here an incredible mic with not one but two transmitters and the quality is quite good. But first, I have a giveaway announcement, another one. And I say another one because not long ago, actually last week, I announced another giveaway of one amazing vlogging tripod. So you can go check that video to see the conditions to enter the raffle because you have till the 20th of December. Same as with this mic, but I'm not gonna raffle the one I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna raffle another one, which is incredible for smartphones and cameras. But I'm gonna talk about that one later. So today we have here this one which is the one you are hearing right now. I have it on at the moment. And it's the Comica Wireless Mic Vimo C3. And why do I say that it's perfect for photographers? I mean, it's perfect for everyone, but I say photographers because if you are doing videos for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or whatever, if you are doing behind the scenes, most likely you need two transmitters, one for you and one for the model, for example. So you can record both of you. And on top of that, it has a distance of 200 meters which means when you are recording your behind the scenes, you can go far away from the camera you are recording with and you can still record and talk so the audience listens to you. And this is amazing because the one I have right now, I've been always shooting with the Rode mic, Wireless Go, the first version of it. So I had only one transmitter and the new version has two, but it's way more expensive than this one, like double the money. So this is a very good point for photographers. When you get this mic, you will receive a very nice case, which is this one. But I personally am not gonna use it because it comes with one of my favorite things, which is a rechargeable case. So most likely I'm gonna have always that one with me, so that way it's not that bulky. And this rechargeable case, you can charge it with a USB cable that is included. And it's amazing because you're gonna be able to charge everything with the case. Once you charge the case, the case is charging the transmitters and the receiver as well. But then it also has a cable so you can charge every single item individually as well. And something I think is insane is all the recording options considering the price of the mic. So you can record in mono, which means that both channels from both transmitters are gonna give you one single track to edit in post-production. Then you can record as well in stereo, which means that you're gonna have two tracks. So each transmitter is gonna give you one track so you can edit the voices separately. And then the third option, which is very good to have, is the safety mode. With the safety mode, you're gonna have one track normal with the volume you're gonna set, and then it's gonna record another channel, another track, with minus six decibels. And this is very good, because if you make mistakes and there are pops or things like that, you're gonna be able to correct that because you have the safety channel with minus six decibels. Having a safety channel, maybe you think you don't need it, but Actually, the other day, because I did test this mic before doing this video, I would never recommend a product I didn't test before or I don't like, obviously. So some of you already noticed that in my last video, I was wearing this one already. I was already trying it. And I recorded it at volume one because this mic has four levels. So I recorded at one and this is at one as well, what you are hearing right now because it's more than enough. <laughs> Spanish people, we are very loud when we talk and very fast. I'm sorry about that because so many of you complain, but I try my best. It's just the way I talk. So I recorded at volume one, that video and this one as well. But then I was recording an exclusive video for my private community that I'm going to release this week, by the way. And I did the mistake of recording at level two and I didn't realize, and the volume is way too high. When you know about your ideal client, you know who to speak to in social media, for example. And I recorded in mono, which means I don't have the safety channel of minus six decibels. I think I still can save it though. I'm gonna reduce the volume in post-production and I think I can save it. If I would have recorded with the safety mode, I would be fine with that. If you do mistakes, it's gonna be totally okay. So this is something you really have to look at if you are checking for a mic. Then it has as well like a mute button, which I think is very handy because if you are doing a streaming or things like that or a live, so many times you're gonna have to switch on and off the mic when you are having a break, but maybe you carry on recording later. So to don't have to switch off everything, you just press the button and you mute it and the receiver, it's reversible. This is such a nice thing to add because you can press one button and you hold it and it changes position. And this is as well very good because when you are recording, when you attach the receiver to the camera, the screen is upside down, so you don't see it properly. 
So you just have to reverse it and that's it. It's a very nice detail they included here. And on top of everything, it has noise cancelling as well. I actually have a fan. I'm gonna switch it on for you to see the noise and then I'm gonna put the noise cancelling for you to see the difference. So this would be with the fan. I don't know if you can hear it. I will have to figure it out in post-production if I can hear it or not. But I guess you can hear it. It's buzzing in the background. And now I'm gonna put the noise cancelling. So now the noise cancelling is on. And now you shouldn't hear that much, I guess. And this is how it would sound with the noise cancelling. Now I'm gonna switch it off. I will see later how it does in post-production, but I have to tell you as well, I'm not an expert at editing sound. I barely do anything in Final Cut. I edit in Final Cut and I don't do much. I just check the levels, that's it. I'm not too fussy about this kind of uh, equalizers and things like that because I don't know too much about it. So mostly what you are hearing is right from the mic, the sound. And then also it comes with two wind muffs and this is super important when you are shooting outdoors. These tiny things are super important and it doesn't look like much, but you don't put it and it's windy outdoors, you're gonna hear all the wind. But you put this, it really covers a lot. So this plus the noise cancelling outdoors, I think it's gonna be amazing. So you shouldn't worry about the quality of the sound when you are like shooting in a bad day, let's say. My favorite thing about this mic is the magnetic case because it's rechargeable, super easy to carry around. You have two transmitters and it's very handy when you are traveling and I'm gonna travel a lot this year, so I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna carry this one around because for example, the one I used to have, and you know these guys, if you've been following my channel, I have the Rode Wireless Go and I attach a lavalier mic with it, which is good. It's very good for me. Rode is an amazing brand, but sometimes the cable gets in the way. Indoors, I don't mind too much, but when I shoot outdoors, I would like to clip it and that's it. So what I find about this is that this is super tiny, this clip. Super tiny, it's very discreet, so it doesn't distract you too much when you are watching my videos. And because it's light, when I put it in the blouse, it's a bit better, it holds better. And the road mic, I cannot have it without the lavalier. Maybe I can have it by knowing blouses or things like that, something very weak, because it's heavy, it's bulky, and it just doesn't work. So for sure I'm gonna be using this more often because it's super handy just to clip it and that's it. I don't have to hide the cable anywhere. And without cables, everything is better, you know that. <laughs> I'm sure you agree with it. And now it's giveaway time. I'm gonna give away this one. So Comica was super nice to send me another one because again, as I did with the tripod, I asked the brand for another one for me to do a giveaway between the members of my private community for being supporting me in a monthly basis in exchange, obviously, for exclusive videos, exclusive tutorials, exclusive free resources, and many more things. So it's not just about the giveaways. I don't want you to sign up just because of the giveaways. It's about everything, the giveaways and everything else. So this one is the mic. It's the Comica VMT Pro. It's a super cute mic, very small and perfect for smartphones and cameras. It comes with a very nice cover with the wind muff as well, and it has a volume setting on the top that you can regulate and also you can choose between digital or analog output. It comes with a very nice case, which I love. And the mic, I'll show you again, is super tiny. I don't know if it's focused or not, <laughs> but it's super, super tiny. And you can use it in smartphones for blogging. It's super discreet as well. So this is something to consider as well if you are recording outdoors and you are a bit shy to vlog outdoors because this is super discreet. And if you don't have a camera, it works with the smartphones. So I'm gonna be giving away this one. And the only thing you have to do is be in my private community in the creative tier or in the premium tier. And just being there, you can send me a private message and tell me a bit about yourself, your niche, even if it's not photography. But I guess if you sign up in my community, it's because you're a photographer, because it's all about photography. <laughs> so just introduce yourself, where are you from and what do you do? Because I really want to get to know you more personally, because that's the whole point about the private community. I will be announcing the winner on the 21st of December for the vlogging tripod and for this mic. So till then, you have time. But again, don't sign up just because of that, please. <laughs> I have amazing content over there. And if you want to make a living from your camera, I think it's extra content you're gonna love. And if you're interested more about blogging gear, I do have an amazing video about my minimalist blogging gear as a photographer, where I explain as well how to choose the gear. So that could be quite cool if you are checking for more gear as well for yourself. And subscribe to my channel if you're not yet, like the video, and I will see you very soon. Big love.